this video I'm going to be talking about upgrading the oiling system inside of our Project 2 valve. Uh, but it's going to be similar. All these parts are going to be similar or the same for a 4 valve. Uh, so starting off with a boundary pump, go over a couple of different uh, oil pickup tubes. Got a couple of different windage tray options. And then we're going to be using the factory oil pan. First, we'll start out with the boundary oil pump. This is part number MMS1. This comes with fully bl blueprinted. It's got all the specs to it. Uh, the gears installed inside of this is a GT500 pump. Uh, you can see it's serialized. It's engraved or laser etched by boundary. This is for the three valve. Uh, but it's, uh, I believe this is a GT500 pump. I, I'm pretty sure they start out with a GT500 pump, uh, which will fit on any of the two valve engine blocks or the four valve or the three valve engine blocks. Uh, but this one has the most flow capacity. Um, so if you're going to get the pumps, uh, the gears for the pumps, you got to make sure you get the gears for the right pump because the diameter of them is bigger. But this is a great pump because it's all ready to go. Uh, it's ready to bolt in and it even comes with a sticker. If you look at the gears on our pump, there are these two little raised areas right in here and those are gonna go along the flat portion of the crank. So it can be a little tricky to get them to line up, right? So our flat spots are straight up and straight down. So I'm gonna line these up close to it. And before you slide these on, you wanna make sure that this area right here is nice and clean as well as this area right here. That's gonna make your seal for your oil. Once it goes all the way on, line up the holes. These are M6 by 1.0 by 40 millimeters. I like to try to center it in the bolt holes. Now I'm going to leave that one off because that's part of the timing chain assembly, but these get torqued to 90 inch pounds. Okay, I got two different windage trays to, to show. Uh, this is the three valve windage tray, part number 4R3Z6687BA. This was, uh, these are stock on the three valve, but I'm pretty sure they discontinued them. Maybe they'll bring them back. So this is a good windage tray, it's sturdy. Another one I wanted to take a look at, this is the GT500 one, BR3Z6710-A. So this one is more like a, well it is a gasket, so it's a gasket and a windage tray. I've used one of these before, uh, but had to cut quite a bit of it out, but we'll take a look at how it fits on our engine block. First we'll take a look at how our three valve fits on there. Whenever I do these, I always put put the windage tray on and then make sure it does turn the engine over, make sure it doesn't hit anywhere. You can see that one's good. No problem with that one. And so here's our GT500. And it's already hitting. So you have to do some clearancing uh, to make sure that it clears all the uh, uh, studs. There's some other issues too in the back. It hits the oil pan, but uh, I won't go too much into this right now because uh, we're not using this one. Right, we'll put our three valve windage tray back on. You need one of these hex pieces. Uh, then we took this one off the donor engine over there. Some of them are different sizes. Uh, we'll probably have to cut this down when we check the uh, pickup tube to pan clearance. Here you can see the difference in the tube sizes. This is the factory GT one. Even the inlet is uh, smaller. So if you get any of the four valve, three valve, or GT500 pumps, you have to get this bigger, either the three or the four valve uh, pickup tube. Some of these have a deflector shield on there too. You may have to grind that off for clearance. But you can tell these are noticeably larger. These are closer to a one inch. I think there's like three quarter inch. So I'm gonna take a look at any differences. Uh, there's only a slight different bend in this. So this is the three valve one. Seems like it lines up good. 
Now this is the four valve one. I don't really see much difference there. I mean, this is the only difference is the little bend there. So I, I think you're fine if you have a Cobra pump or if you have a Cobra engine and it has the Cobra uh, pickup tube. Like I said, I think it's got the little, uh, it's got a little thing that hangs down. You may have to grind that off. Um, but looks pretty much the same to me. These are the nuts left over from the three valve ARP uh, main studs. So there's washers and little nuts. I'm gonna put some ARP grease on there. I don't think this is absolutely necessary uh, for these ones, but uh, if you have it, you can put it on there. And I'm gonna to torque them to 20 foot pounds. And I'll rotate it around, make sure it doesn't hit. And before we put the pickup tube in there, one, make sure there's an O-ring on there, and I like to put some oil on it. You know, we got our window tray bolted down, our pickup tube, our pump on there. Now we need to put a gasket down. For that, I just use Felpro. Uh, part number is OS30725R. The pan gasket also comes with a oil pickup tube O-ring, so if you're reusing your pickup tube and you need an O-ring, it comes with it. Okay, so this is the stock pan that came off of this engine. Uh, it's from a 99 Mustang GT. Occasionally you will also need to cut these fins down or cut them off uh, to clear the uh, the windage tray. Now this, uh, I think this is a good pan. Um, if you have the funds and you want to upgrade to one with trap doors in it, uh, now's a good time to do it. But I've rode road course raced with this for several years. Uh, and, and haven't had an issue, but uh, it's not to say that replacing the pan isn't a bad idea But if you are going to keep the stock pan one of the things that I recommend you look for is Dents down here. This is where the pickup tube is going to sit And the problem with these pans is you can see this one's dented right here And I believe that I've rebuilt engines and I've traced it to this being the problem This was so smashed in that it smashes in gets to the oil pickup tube and now you're not getting sufficient amount of oil into your engine so if you're going to reuse your stock pan make sure you don't have a dent like this if you do you need to pound it out which is what i'm going to do okay so i just laid down some rags here put our pan on it i'm going to actually use the prop it up and you just take a combination of hammers i'm going to take this plastic one uh, put the handle right on the dent and then hit down on it I think that looks better. You have more of its shape to it. And it's even better. Looking a lot more like it should. So make sure you clean it out really well. You don't want any chunks of anything inside there. The easiest way to check pickup to the pan clearance is I just take some, some Play Doh. Uh, put a little ball of it on here. There's a couple different styles of pickup tubes. Some of them have like this uh, sheet metal covering it, and then some are just wide open with just the with just the screen on there. I don't know if one outflows the other one. The later ones definitely have this cut in them, um, but uh, I like them because I can put my ball of clay dough right there. Okay, you don't need too much. Put it on there. I'm gonna take this gasket and put it on the pan. Now we can try and lower our pan down on there. Oh, it's, we got quite a bit here. It's not even going all the way down. Yeah, that squished it flat. We're gonna have to take uh, some out of this hex. So we gotta take our pickup tube back off. Well, I have the tube out. I want to make sure that these fins clear, so I'm going to put the pan, the gasket on there. And it's definitely not clearing, so we're going to have to, have to cut those out real quick. Okay, you can see I cut about half of the, half of the uh, flaps off of there. Hopefully that's enough. Remember when you're cutting on these things, if you're grinding on it, do it away from your engine. 
make sure you have iPro on too and then file any burrs off you don't want any hanging pieces of metal falling off of there and getting into your engine and that clears no problem here's a little hex piece spacer uh, grind it down on both sides to get it closer to only having threads we'll see what that gets us I'm gonna go ahead and torque this to 20 in case it's spot on Okay, so I got a combination of washers and lock washers that I like. It puts the thread depth equal on either side. Try this again. And that gives us 3 8 which when you put the pan gasket and you cinch it down, it should put us perfect. Now we torque these to 90 inch pounds. And this one goes to 20 foot pounds. We'll wipe the surface down for our gasket. I'm just going to take some M8 by 125 by 25 millimeters and put them in here. And I'm going to leave these, these one, this one actually touched, but I'm going to leave these ones still just not even hand tight uh, because it helps when I put the timing chain cover on the rear main seal cover. So there it is. There's our upgraded oiling system. We got our boundary pump, GT500 pump. Uh, it's a great. Uh, great kit. I highly recommend it. You can also get the uh, pickup tube from them. That's the 15 16 one if you got a, a, a Cobra engine it already has the bigger pickup tube, but if you need one there it is Might need to do some clearancing. We had to with some of the fins on the oil pan uh, But overall this should uh, this should be a good setup